After I've added all of the petals to my peony, I'm ready to paint it. I'm gonna paint it with petal dust. Petal dust has the consistency of ground up chalk. I just dip a nice flat paintbrush into my petal dust and brush off the extra. I can always add more paint, but I can't always take it off. I'm just gonna take and dust. In this case, I'll dust all over my peony, my dry peony. It's been dried for at least 24 hours before I paint it. I'm just gonna brush as much dust as I'd like to in order to create the color that I'm looking for. In this case, a nice deep magenta color. Peonies come in all sorts of different colors. I'd say white or light and dark pink tend to be the most popular colors for peonies. I'm just gonna brush all over and create a nice deep pink peony color. Now, in order to finish off, you'll notice that we still have a few pieces that are exposed and may not look quite the best. What I do with that is to cover it with a green calyx. So I've cut out a green calyx with a calyx cutter. They have special calyx cutters that can be used in order to create this shape. We've rolled green gum paste on a pasta machine and then cut out using this shape. The other thing that I've done to it is to just pinch around the edges to make the edges nice and flat. I'll pierce my wire straight through and turn it over so I can see where it is. And with a teeny tiny little bit of glue, I'll just attach each of the calyx pieces. I'll just brush on on each one of those little pieces, brush a little bit of glue just to make sure that it sticks where I want to. And essentially what I'm doing is covering up those little bits that might not look as sharp as the rest. It's amazing what a calyx can do in order to create a completely finished off flower.